temperatures definitely have a lot of people looking at the forecast in Sandy because there's still a lot of runoff water waiting to come down. Yeah, officials say the worst case scenario could mean potential flooding here, but as news specialist Andrew Adams found out tonight, the hope is to avoid all that. Right, Andrew? Right, and we're told that if we continue to see the pattern that we're in, which is a gradual warm up, temperatures maybe hitting the 80s and dipping back to the upper 60s, lower 70s, that's great. What workers don't want to see is a sustained move to summer temperatures before a lot of the runoff comes down the mountain. In my opinion, it's the most beautiful water out there. The view may be hard to beat, but that's not why Lower Belcanian Reservoir is getting a closer look. So where's about six and a half CFS spilling today? Water watchers say as temperatures rise, the runoff is coming. I think you'll see this probably triple or quadruple in the next week. The hope is it just doesn't come too fast. This is about as, as high as it ever gets. 12 feet deep at that point. Scott Ellis says with the reservoir already at capacity, Sandy City wants to avoid a worst case scenario. Uh, we don't want it to get cold and stay cold until June 10th and then hit 100 degrees for two weeks. That, or a fast warm-up chased by heavy rains, would be bad. If it all melts off in five or six days, we'll have flooding. It'll overwhelm our storm drain system. Currently, though, the forecast calls for mild weather, which officials say should produce an ideal setup. Pick up and then slow down and then pick up and slow down for several weeks would be great. For now, the city is cautioning homeowners along creeks to simply watch out. Like I said, keep track of your kids and your pets because faster flows are inevitable. It is beautiful and mostly safe, but if, you, if you're not careful, it can, it can be tragic. Well, not only are crews monitoring Lower Bell Canyon Reservoir, they're also keeping a close eye on creeks, monitoring levels, as well as looking for potential obstructions. They're telling homeowners who live along the creeks in town, if you see trouble, contact the city. Workers will come out to take a look. Back to you. Yeah, sounds like they're on top of it. Hopefully the weather cooperates. Andrew, thank you.